hey guys welcome to my channel so today is going to be a test and trial run of emma chamberlain's new coffee line um i don't know if it's really a line it's kind of just you know she's made coffee tea bag thingies and i'm gonna review it like everyone else on youtube um so yeah so i'm gonna be following her recipe that she uploaded i think about a week or two weeks ago um actually it's gonna be her cold brew recipe because i hate hot coffee i mean i drink it if i have to or if it's the only thing available but i am an iced coffee lover cold brew lover yes in negative 20 degrees i will get an iced coffee come at me so she came out with these coffee tea bags if you want to call it and on her website, it's basically you can get either, I believe it's five, a pack of five, a pack of 10, or a pack of 20. And she also sells mugs and like these thermos sort of coffee mugs, which I thought was kind of cool because you can also get tea bags or coffee bags with a mug if you want to do like a little kit or something. But I just did a 10 because I did want to test it out and I felt like if I did enjoy it, since she does use three tea bags for hers, I would still want to have some extras. I feel like five would have been a little bit too little like in case I really liked it. So she describes this coffee as having notes of chocolate, cherry, and nuts. I love chocolate. I love nuts. That's what she said. And I completely 110% hate cherries. So that's where I was kind of like, oh, okay, that's where we're going with this. I'm not a cherry lover. I don't like cherries. I don't like the taste of them. I don't know. Everyone I know loves them, but I don't. And when it comes to coffee and like beverages, like I hate cherry coke even more, but I'm just not really the biggest cherry fan. So I was kind of scared about that. But we're gonna test it out today because I did get myself some. I actually got 10 bags because like I said, I wanna try it out. And because if I end up loving it, you know, might as well have some backup. So on her website, she actually lists the amount of tea bags that you can get in a pack or coffee bags. They keep saying tea bags, you know what I mean. Um, but you can get a five pack for ten dollars. You can get a ten pack, which is what I got for twenty. You can get a twenty pack for forty, or you can get a thirty pack for sixty. Now, that might be a lot <laughs> for some people. Um, I guess if you break it down, is let's say since I got a ten pack, that's twenty dollars. 20 divided by 10 is two. So basically it's like you're buying a cup of coffee. So I don't think it's that bad. It just depends on if it's to your taste, which we're gonna find out if it's to my taste and if I would buy it again. So let's get right into the recipe of me making it. So I didn't get just one bag, nor did I get two. I got 10 because she does use three bags for this recipe. So I kind of want to have backups just in case I liked it. Now they come in this sort of brown paper bag, which is actually compostable, like she said in her video. And she likes to put it in a mason jar, um, and she also drinks it off a mason jar. You could probably use something else, but I'm just trying to follow it exactly like she did. So I'm gonna be using this today. I actually had ordered these online, but I feel like it's kind of a little bit for three bags, but I guess she likes it strong. So like I said, I'm just gonna follow this recipe. I'm gonna use three of these bags, and they're pretty cool if you ask me. They look like tea bags which is really cute, a little aesthetic. So I'm gonna put one, two, and three in there. And I'm gonna fill it up with water, so it's a 600 milliliter line. Now that would probably convert to 20 ounce or 2.5 cups. I'll have the recipe down below, just as she did in her video. And I'm just gonna close this up and put it in the fridge overnight. Now I kind of left this in a little bit longer than just overnight because I didn't get a chance to film it until I got home later in the day. So it was in there for about almost 24 hours, which I was kind of nervous about because I feel like it kind of got a little bit too saturated just sitting in there, which means it'll probably taste a little bit stronger than I like, but we'll see. As you can see, it's very dark. This is when I got home, took it out the fridge. Looks pretty much like a dark roast to me. I'm not sure if that's what that means, but you know, we're gonna test it out anyways. So I had this other mason jar. This actually came in a pack of two and I'm gonna copy her and add in some ice cubes. Now it is nighttime and I probably shouldn't be green coffee because I'm not gonna be able to wake up tomorrow, but it's all for a video. So I'm just adding some ice cubes. I love iced coffee, even when it's cold brew, even better. Filling that up to how much I think I'll need because yeah, it's nighttime, but I love coffee, so it doesn't really matter. And me being unhealthy, I'm using this French vanilla creamer from Coffee Mate. 
Now, if you are dairy-free, you can use whatever you want, just like she did, but, you know, this is to my little liking. And it looks a little bit pale, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, we're just gonna go with it, using my metal straw to stir it up, and we're gonna go ahead and taste this bad boy. Let's go. Okay, guys, so it's currently nighttime, and it's the only time I can record this portion of the video because I don't have time in the morning and enough daylight to film, so... I'm kind of using my artificial lighting, but as you guys seen, I made the coffee. I think I added a little bit too much creamer. Now, I know for those of you that are, you know, you don't drink milk or actual dairy, you probably use what she used, which I think was the coconut vanilla creamer. I'm not sure if it was almond milk or coconut milk. Um, I'm super unhealthy, so I used the Coffee Mate French vanilla. So we're gonna taste test this together. It's looking a little pale. Don't know if I like it that pale because it is, you know, iced coffee or a cold brew. But she did say it had hints of, I think it was cherries, dark chocolate. You can hear my cat. Pause. Throughout this segment of the video, my cat goes extreme with the meowing. Don't worry, he is completely fine. I just had to lock him outside of my room because he will not go over my camera and stuff. But don't worry, he's just having a little bit of separation anxiety today. And right after this video, I did let him back in and he is completely okay and getting the most of the cuddles. So sorry for the meowing now. Back to the video. I don't know if you can, but you know what? Let's just taste test it. See how it goes. And like I said, I hate cherries. So I'm kind of scared with this French vanilla. Let's see. That <laughs> is pretty good. Like I try to make like cold brews at home with just like regular coffee, whether it's Dunkin' Donuts or in a Starbucks bag. And this, I definitely taste like a chocolate taste. Now I don't know if that's the creamer, like the vanilla creamer, that's making it kind of have that chocolate tingy taste. It almost tastes like chocolate milk. I don't know if that's kind of weird, but this is <laughs> really good. <laughs> like I'm not even lying. And it has a strong smell of coffee, which I love the smell of coffee. Like if I can get a perfume with the scent of coffee, I would love it. But yeah, this is delicious. Like, wow, that was a good $20 spent. I'm not too mad about it. Um, I don't really taste cherries. I mean, I haven't really eaten a cherry in a really long time because I hate them. So maybe I can't, does have a taste to it, but I just wouldn't know. But I do see it's like a chocolatey, rich, whatever rich means I always hear people use rich when they're describing coffee and stuff but I really like this this is like the first cold brew that I feel like has the smoothest like the strong tasting coffee without being like super bitter or anything like it actually has a flavor to it and adding the creamer just makes it even 10 times better I don't have to add sugar usually I'll get like a cold brew with cream and caramel I don't have to add any caramel or anything to this except for the creamer so that is awesome but yeah my overall rating would probably be a 4.5 out of 5 no joke because this is delicious um for the price range i'm not too sure i did get the 10 bag ones and they are pretty huge now i think if you use more water for because she used three tea bags so i four coffee bags but I think if you use more water, you probably get more out of it. I use the amount, I was just following her recipe of how she likes to make it. Um, I might try it with more water with one, or just try that same amount of water with just one tea bag and see how strong it actually is because this is pretty strong, but it's like a good strong, like it tastes really good. Um, so I think it was worth it for the $20. I think I would probably buy it again. Yes, I definitely would buy it again. Um, maybe not. Like, it's nothing that I, like, would want really badly. I mean, it will help me save money, but I also have a Keurig, which I usually use on weekends, and I feel like I'll just put that to waste if I keep buying these. And my Keurig, like, pods usually cost about 8 Well, the last time it cost me about $8 for a pack of 24 whereas this, you're paying 20 for 10 coffee tea bags. So, I don't know. But 
I mean, it works out great for cold brews like this because I feel like if I use my K-Cups to try and make a cold brew, it would not taste good because sometimes K-Cups taste burnt, but you know, this was this was good. Like 4.5 out of 5 stars. Definitely recommend. At least just try it, I'd say. But yeah, my overall review is that it is very delicious and I highly recommend it. So definitely check it out if you can. Big props to her because I love coffee. I would say I'm a coffee expert, but that's kind of pushing it a little bit. I never worked at Starbucks, so I want to really know because that's a lot of Starbucks people near me. They've been messing up my order lately and I really don't appreciate it. But anyways, I love them regardless. Um, but yeah, check out Emma Chamberlain Coffee. This is not sponsored. Hey Emma, if you're watching this, sponsor me. I'm just kidding. I don't know how that would work. But yeah, check out her coffee. Um, tastes good. At least just try it. And that's all for today, folks. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. That's some good she is.